eating today during both lunches. Yep, um, so again, new members are welcome for that too. Um, yeah, come learn about what service projects are going on this month. Sweet. See you there. And we're in room 128 as usual. Yep. Good morning, Wash. Um, tonight is Pam Slam. Admission is $3 and it starts at 6.45. It will be in the Little Theater and there will be lots of art, snacks, poetry, and music with our fantastic host from WLP. And WLP is still um, accepting submissions for the uh, who we are and where we come from issue, so you should submit. We're also still selling these sweatshirts for $13, so please get one and support. They're cute. <laughs> Juniors, if you're looking for class apparel forms, they're going to be outside of Mr. Mason Marshall's room, which is room 228. If you don't know where that is, just go up the main four foyer steps, and it's right next to the library. There's out there on his little podium. That's the easiest way to get them. All right, it's Friday. It's the last day to turn in any name change forms for the yearbook. Again, you can find those forms and the envelope to submit them in the library right inside the door. Seniors, also make sure to stop by the library and check and see whether we've received your senior photo or have a photo of you at all. Thank you. Improv meets today after school in Mrs. Tinkham's room. Uh, our next show is in two weeks on the 15th, uh, so this is a really important meeting to come through. Uh, we have a lot of managerial stuff to discuss, so if you're in improv, make sure you come. Like I said, our next show is in two weeks. Uh, see you at Pam's time tonight. Three quick things, guys. Uh, first of all, Reader's theater, no more practice time. It's going to be a great practice. Please come if you can. If you can't, as long as you let uh, Mr. Waker or I know, then we'll be good. Second thing, um, philosophy club was awesome yesterday. And next week, uh, the current selected topic will be the role of artists in society. So if you think you have some conversation to bring to the table, it'd be awesome to see you there next week. It's every Thursday, and we're always looking for new people. And um, the last thing, junior varsity swimming. Um, practice will be earlier. Um, if you don't know the time, talk to Coach Cruz or text Coach Ironside, and there will not be a junior varsity practice tomorrow for swimming. So enjoy the weekend. Hi, this is Mr. Ballard, and I have a quick announcement. I want everybody out there to think about something. Um, there are a lot of times in our school where everybody just has a great time and interacts in a fun way. But every now and then, People will be playing with one another and it escalates and one side gets angry. So this is my public service announcement today to remind you to treat each other with the platinum rule, which is to treat people how they want to be treated. And sometimes in our desire to just play and have fun, we anger someone, it escalates, and then people get in trouble. I don't want that to happen to anyone out there and I'm hoping we can continue to have a great day here at school, both today and the future. Thank you, Mr. Ballard. Wise advice for all of us to heed. Uh, Warrior Wrestling Team battled hard last night against Liberty and Xavier. Getting two wins with the Warriors were uh, Mr. Rocha, Mr. Holderness, both of the Foreman brothers, Mr. Karamitros, and Mr. Sherman. So congratulations. Uh, Will Foreman also uh, surpassed a huge wrestling milestone, collecting his 100th career victory. So congratulations, Will. Uh, Warrior sophomore men's basketball team hosted Bettendorf last night. They led by eight at halftime and had a strong third quarter and extended the lead to 40 to 23 before cruising to a 58 to 42 opening season victory over the Bulldogs. So, very strong performance for the sophomore men's basketball team. Jamar Thurman put up 19 points, three rebounds, and three assists. Uh, Riley Panky had 12 points and two steals. Lamont Boyce. Nine points, two rebounds, a steal, and a deflection. Uh, Jaquise Plummer had eight points, six rebounds, two assists, three steals. Mason Reed, four points, one rebound, one assist. Henry Clymer, four points, and three rebounds. Marvin Hamilton had two points and three rebounds. Jeff Abraham, two points, and Mr. Tucker had eight rebounds and four assists. So sophomore hoops off to a great start on the boys' side. They host uh, New Hampton this Saturday at 1. Uh, Warrior men's varsity basketball team uh, fought hard and lost to Bettendorf last night, 33-55. Leading scorer Ross Snicker had 9, followed by McMurray with 8. 
Uh, Snicker also dished out five assists, and Camel Mitvalski had three steals. Uh, their next game, Varsity Varsity Boys, Saturday afternoon with New Hampton at 2.30. So I hope to see uh, folks there. Last night, the freshman boys played at Kennedy. Red team got it, got in the win column with 38-27 win over Kennedy. That's always good. And improved to 1-1 one one on the season. The red team was led by a strong defensive effort, which held the Cougars scoreless for a quarter. Uh, and led 21-7 at halftime. Warriors were paced by Justin Sherman, who had a game-high 14 points. Wyatt Kane added 11, and Kyler Carson came back from injury by chipping in 7 points. Red team plays Monday at home against Jefferson. Washington's freshman girls basketball team lost a tough game last night, but they fought hard throughout. The Warriors were led in scoring by uh, Grace McKinstry and Danielle Iniola, each scoring six points. Their next game will be tomorrow uh, versus Cedar Falls at home. Uh, all students should review their second semester schedules on Power School as soon as possible, so please look over your schedules for next semester. If there are changes you'd like to make to your schedule, you need to see your counselor before the end of the semester. Okay, there'll be limited schedule changes at the beginning of second semester, so please look at your second semester schedules. See your counselor if needed right away. Uh, 2018 Warrior Girls Golf Team will begin practice in March. This this Friday, December 1st at 1.30 right after school, that would be today, there will be a sign up in room 128 for any girl interested in being on the team. Sign up is for girls who were not on the team last spring, so it is primarily aimed at freshmen, but also any upperclassmen who might be interested. <clears throat> so sign up for newcomers to the Warrior Girls Golf Team 128 right after school today. Reminder study table is meeting Monday through Thursday in room 112. Events today, lots of events. Uh, we've got Interact in 128 from 1051 to 1204. We have got early dismissal, of course, at 130. We've got a golf, the golf meeting. we got speech rehearsal, 130 to 430. Bowling, boys and girls, JV and varsity versus Waterloo East at Cadillac Lanes in Waterloo, 345. Um, we've got Mount Mercy Show Choir at from 4 to 9. We've got wrestling, 5 o'clock JV Invitational. We've got uh, 6 o'clock basketball girls JV versus Cedar Falls here. And 7, 10, 30, we've got the Pam Slam going on in the Little Theater. And we've got girls varsity versus Cedar Falls at 7.30 here. Events tomorrow, we've got the SAT test. Um, let's see, we've got the Junior Warrior Wrestling Tournament going on here. We have got um, Swimming Boys Varsity Invitational versus Ames at Ames. We've got uh, Basketball Boys Sophomore Game versus New Hampton here at 1 and then capped off by the Boys Varsity Basketball versus New Hampton here. No staff birthdays today. However, we do have a handful of student birthdays today and this weekend. Today, happy birthday, Michael Davenport, Trinity Irvin, Jose Lopez, and Damon Payne. Birthdays tomorrow, happy birthday to Brandon Camacho, Jordan Camacho, Casey Christensen, um, Lunlana Harbaugh, Gabriel Lehu, and Aubrey Kokuhan. Birthdays on Sunday. Happy birthday to Alexis Coleman, Adam Hine, and Micah O'Neill. Let's have a great fr Friday, and remember, it is always a great day to be a warrior.